What's up guys, for today's video, we're taking a look at the all new 2022 Corvette C8 2LT Then I'll show you many of the features on the interior, exterior And we're taking a look at this Corvette's 5 years cost to own at the end of the video So sit back, relax, and enjoy First, let's start with pricing. So the Corvette comes with two available body types you can choose from. The coupe that starts at $62,195 and the convertible that starts at $69,695. And it comes with three available trims you can choose from. The 1LT that starts at $62,195, the 2LT and my tester that starts at $69,495, and the 3LT that starts at $74,145. And the engine on the C8 is a 6.2 liter V8 that makes 490 horsepower at 6400 RPMs and 465 pound-feet of torque at 5100 RPMs. Connected to an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that sends the power to the rear wheels and it can go 0-60 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. And as for fuel economy, the V8 makes 15 miles per gallon city, 27 miles per gallon highway with an 18.5 gallon fuel tank capacity. So my tester is a 2LT trim, which comes standard with the Bose premium speaker system, rear camera mirror, power folding mirrors, all the road safety features, heads-up display, and many more. And my tester is finished in rapid blue exterior color, which is a $500 option, and has the jet black leather interior, and has a starting sticker price of $68,200. My tester has plenty of options, like the $6,300 optional Z51 performance package, which includes the Z51 performance brakes, suspension, rear spoiler, front lip, and many more. And they also added the front lift adjuster, those carbon flash wheels, and the blue seat belt which made my tester has a window sticker of 80,410 after options, shipping, and handling, which means this C8 has over $10,000 in added options. So on the driver door you have the window control, both driver and passenger side windows fully automatic. Right above it you have the power folding mirrors, you also have the mirror controls, you have the Bose premium speaker system with two stage memory seat, you also have the door grab handle, you have the lock and unlock, the electronic door release, you have the front and rear uh, trunk controls and a small storage, you also have the manual uh, door opener. And on the left hand side is steering wheel, you have your heads up display controls, you have your electronic parking brake, and the brightness controls. And on the steering wheel, you have the square shaped two spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. On the left hand side, you have the cruise control, you have the Z mode, right underneath, you have the favorite channel. In the middle, they have the Chevrolet uh, Corvette emblem in the middle, surrounded by chrome. On the right hand side, you have your controls for the instrument cluster screen, along with your voice command and the heated steering wheel, along with the volume controls. You also have the silver shift paddles. And on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you have your turning signal stock with your automatic flight controls. And on the right hand side, you have the windshield wiper controls. And on the screen, on the left hand side, you have the time and temperature. Right underneath, you have the oil pressure. And in the middle, you have the gear position with the speed and the tachometer. And on the right hand side, you have the trip computer. You have trip one, two, fuel economy, trip timer, the current drive cycle. You also have the performance. You have the zero to 60 timer, lap timer, and the G-force. You also have the audio, your maintenance, the options. You have the display design. You have couple of themes you can choose from the tour 
you have the sport and track and lastly weather you also have the uh, information tile selection you can choose which ones to see or hide speed warning units tire pressure heads up display rotation uh, software license and reset to default and lastly you have the simplify display and coming along the center you have the eight inch color screen you have the engine start stop button your home button and your volume knob you also have the eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission to put it in gear you pull up on drive up for reverse and for neutral and and for park and you have your manual mode you also have the traction control the air suspension and your front camera system you also have your mode selector two cup holders you have the climate controls with heated and vented seats you also have a small padded storage with usb-c usb auxiliary cord and an sd card and this Corvette is equipped with the front lift adjuster, which at its highest level looks like this. And at its lowest level looks like this. And on the screen, you have your audio. You have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth. You have your phone selection. You have your navigation screen. Your Wi-Fi hotspot. You have the user, you can customize this car for different drivers using the key. You also have the fully customizable settings. And this is where you customize the Z mode. You also have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have different apps you can download, OnStar services, your performance data recorder. You have the climate control you can control it from the screens or from the buttons below you also have the camera system and lastly you have the my Chevrolet app and the Sears XM app and on the window sticker the standard vehicle price is 68,200 they added the Z51 performance package the front lift adjuster, the uh, carbon flash wheels, rabbit blue color, the blue seat belts, the black lug nuts, and the carbon flash painted mirrors, which made this Corvette has a window sticker of 80,400. Here's the final assembly and fuel economy. And as you can see on this graph, this Corvette's five years cost to own at a price of $60,628 loss. The depreciation on this coupe in five years is $22,300 with the biggest hit in the second year of purchase. Fees and taxes paid is around $6,300 depends on the state you buy it in. Fuel paid in five years will cost around $10,500 depends on the way you drive it. Insurance will cost around $5,800 and interest comes at around $5,800. Maintenance, which is the most important factor, will cost around $5,300. And lastly, repairs will cost you around 2400 So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing future videos.